Hi, I'm Brian Garner. Welcome back to Speedball's how-to series on screen printing. When we do kind of open this screen up and put it down for exposure, one thing we do want to put down is a black sheet that is going to um, diffuse any kind of light that's coming down. It's going to keep it from reflecting back up onto the screen. And this is in your kit, and that's what that sheet of paper is for. And I'm going to take my screen out of this t-shirt and I'm going to place it right on top of that black sheet. And what I want to do now is put my design down on top of that. And what I'd really like to do is to put the, um, the kind of the, uh, the, the emulsion side, I don't want to confuse you, but the part that's been printed with the inkjet printer actually should make contact with your screen. You don't want any gap. So that means that this film is a certain thickness. Light could actually travel through here and get diffused and not give you a clean, clean uh, image area. So I'm going to put my artwork down on the screen. And then I want to use a piece of glass. And this piece of glass is actually going to put a little bit of weight on the artwork. So it's going to really make good contact from my screen and my artwork. And so that's why I'm putting this glass down. You can use plexiglass um, or regular glass. Just make sure it's not UV protecting um, plastic or glass because the light simply will not pass through it. So um, I have that piece of glass and it's putting weight on the artwork and making really good contact with my screen. And now I'm ready to expose. So the exposure is going to be eight minutes for this specific height. And so I'm gonna let this expose for eight minutes. And what's happening during this exposure, it's hardening the light sensitive photo emulsion that we squeegeed on the screen. So that means when we wash this out with water, it's not going to affect the emulsion that's hardened. It's only gonna affect the emulsion where the artwork is. So since light cannot pass through your artwork or the inkjet ink, um, it's gonna make it pliable or not cured. And that means it will wash out with water, opening your screen, allowing ink to pass through it so your design can then be printed. So after the exposure, we're gonna take off that make ready or uh, the little kind of uh, film sandwich that we just made. We're gonna take off that glass or plexiglass, whatever you put on there to make that contact happen. And then we're gonna take off the artwork. And when we take off the artwork, you're gonna be able to see a slight image of your artwork. And that is the emulsion that was not exposed. So it's going to stay light in color. And that is what's actually gonna wash out. So the darker green emulsion is just letting you know that it's hardened. It's not going to go anywhere. So we're gonna take this over to the sink and wash it out. And we're gonna put the cold water on. And ultimately, if you had a, uh, a small little nozzle, that would be the easiest thing to wash this out with. This thing, sink does not have one. So we're just basically gonna use a, uh, a sponge and very lightly go over the image. And what we're attempting to do is to wash out the uncured emulsion that's on the screen meaning whatever the light did not hit will still be um, able to be washed out. I'm kind of going in circular motions. I'm making sure I, um, I wash out the entire screen in the image. I'm not just working one area. And you don't want to do it very hard either. Um, in fact, you know, the emulsion is actually washing away with just the pressure of the water. And so I really don't have to scrub. One thing that uh, you might run into is either underexposure or overexposure with photographic emulsion. If you underexpose it, that pretty much means your photo emulsion um, has not been exposed long enough. Meaning that at this stage, when we wash the artwork off the screen, if the emulsion starts to come off in unwanted places, 
it means it didn't have time to harden in the ultraviolet light. And by contrast, if we did it too long, that means the light could actually penetrate your artwork and then harden your emulsion where you actually desire it. So a perfect exposure is one that will wash out your image area and your emulsion stays on. And that's what we have right now. We'll continue the process in the next video.